can't believe my air conditioning is not keeping up with the Florida heat today. Oh, hey, how's it going? Today's episode on the Freemason Report, how much money you should bring to Lodge. Hello, my brothers. This is the Freemason Report. Tuning in today to talk about how much money you need to bring to your lodge meeting. This is a really interesting question because it comes up a lot. And I have a lot of times where I was in the East and I would have brothers visiting from other lodges asking this question. And I had new candidates wanting to know what was appropriate and why they would need to bring money to lodge. So we're going to dig into that. Okay, so the first reason why you need money for lodge is they have a charity collection mostly at every lodge where they do good things to the community. So you always want to bring a few dollars to put into the hat, put into the basket, put into the bucket, put into the box, whatever mode of collection that they have for helping out their local charities. Another thing you need to consider when you come to a lodge is how much is dinner going to be? Some lodges offer free dinner. Other times, lodges ask for people to kick in money into a little box, bucket, give it to the junior warden, and it could be anywhere from 5 to $20, depending on how nice the meal is. So if that's the case, you want to make sure you always have like a 10, a 5, a couple singles ready to go. Other things you need to consider when you're going into lodge is have you paid your lodge dues? Do you need money for that to pay it real time so you can actually sit in lodge? Because most lodges want you to be current in your dues to join them for that given year. So I always recommend bring a checkbook, be prepared to pay, bring a credit card, um, bring cash, whatever it might be. I know lodge dues vary greatly from Grand Lodge to Grand Lodge and lodge to lodge. I've heard some lodges charging as little as $40 a year, which is insanely low, to uh, $1,500 a month, which is insanely high. So you need to be prepared to really know do I have to pay my dues? Am I caught up with my dues? Am I ready to go with that? Now, another thing you need to consider when you go in a lodge is, is there any special fundraisers going on? I know there's raffles that happen now and again where people sell tickets to uh, get involved to possibly win a Rolex, maybe an AR-15, maybe a nice uh, car or a motorcycle or some other really nice item. And that could charge anywhere from $10 to $50 per ticket. So you might want to have some money for that just in case. You're not going to believe this, but every Grand Lodge does have the Grand Master's coin, the Grand Master's tie, the Grand Master widget, whatever it might be. So if I didn't say it just right then and there, just keep in mind, there's so many different ones. I could literally go through a laundry list and have this never ending list. I don't want to waste your time because I know your time is valuable and thank you for tuning in. But when they show up, you can pick up the Grandmaster tie. I remember one year the Grandmaster tie was $100 and it was a beautiful tie. It was made out of silk. I loved it. So I picked one up. But then other years, the Grandmaster's tie was $20. I got it again. I thought it was a great color. I wanted to wear it all year. And then another year I was actually sitting in line and they requested every officer of the lodge has a Grandmaster's tie. So we all match. So what did I do? I bought one and then I bought one for my dad. When else do you need to have money for lodge? Well, we have the outside of the visits where people are selling uh, things for the Grand Master and outside of dinner and outside of charity and outside of uh, the raffle fundraisers. There's other things that could be happening too where you might need to have a few dollars. And I always say, just keep um, a few dollars in your pocket. Anytime I go to lodge, when I'm wearing a suit coat like this, I just keep a couple bucks in my suit pocket so when I show up, if there is something that's a surprise that I never planned for, that I didn't know about, that I really want to support or I want to give to, I have that capability of doing so. Because Freemasons, we have big hearts and we're very generous when it comes to helping support our communities, charities, or whatever it might be. So if you are visiting a lodge, just keep a couple bucks in your pocket. You don't have to go crazy and walk around $1,500 because really that's uh, overkill. Uh, but I would say anywhere from... Uh, 20 to $60 in different denominations in your pocket is good. Now keep in mind, if you're living in a different country, um, 20 to $60 might be really, really low. It might be really, really high depending upon dollar and rates per country. 
and what the euro is worth versus American dollar. So you might be like, hey, we just need to carry much, much less or we need to carry a little bit more. Um, same is true for Australia. The uh, dollar is different between the US dollar. So I'm just trying to keep it very, very matter of fact. And I know you, everyone's tuning in internationally from different places. So keep that in mind, uh, whatever the right amount is for your area that you convert a US dollar from 20 or 60, just you can go to Google. Again, I'm a Google fanboy, so you can check out Google and find out what it is. Okay, so that was fun. You had a chance to hear about how much money you should bring to Lodge. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope it answered some questions and I hope you could share it with your friends in Freemasonry and brothers in Freemasonry to be like, here's the answer. Freemasonry Report took the time to tell you. So again, stay tuned, tuned in, visit Instagram, visit Facebook, watch our YouTube videos, read our blog articles. We have new ones coming out soon. So stay tuned for those and have a blessed day. Florida is hot right now. Oh, hey, how's it going? Today's episode, how much money 